I don't really understand why. There's like, nothing to understand. It's just it's not, no, it's, we took the motors, we flipped them over, and now we're gonna see what happens. So this is our standard CL2 5 inch freestyle drone built up with the DJI O3 air unit. And we're gonna convert this into a pusher drone. So right now, these props are on top of the motors and they pull up on the motor. Instead, we want the prop to be on the bottom of the motor. So if you flip it over, and if the prop was spinning the other way and pushing up on the motor, that's a pusher. And that's essentially what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take our drone, flip it over, and reverse the things that need to be reversed. You might be asking why I do this. One, I'm just interested to see if it flies any different, right? Yeah, so I've seen a lot of these little Cinewoops, like the Sub 250 gram, um, where they've flipped the motors over and they've got pusher. I yeah. think there's some benefit to that as far as stability at that small size. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's really gonna do anything for us. On a five inch, yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. It's just fun to play with things and try things. The other reason I wanted to uh, experiment with this is because with the O3 air unit, it's become really popular to use the FPV camera itself as your recording camera. That presents some problems because now any frame or props that you see in your FPV feed are showing up on your primary recording. These camera mounts that we use on the CL2, they're reconfigurable. So right now they are rear set into the frame, which is gonna provide a little bit more crash protection, but you're gonna see some of the frame in the camera view. So we're gonna flip these camera mounts around the camera's gonna sit out front here, and that's gonna get our frame out of view and push the camera a little bit forward. But we're still gonna have the props in view. The way that most people are handling this is doing a dead cat configuration. We do have dead cat arms available for the CL2, so you can swap it out to that, the CL2 Air, and that's gonna get the props out of view. But what I'm curious about is can we maintain the true X configuration, and by flipping it to a pusher, might that also get the props out of view? Because if you think about it, the camera's up here and it's pointed upward, now, relative to the props, with the camera having some up tilt, you're more likely to see less of it, right? You think it's gonna fly better than something like a dead cat, because the dead cat, when you move the arms back, it's shifting the weight. I think the dead cat configuration flies great. Personally, I couldn't really tell the difference. Okay. But I do think there are people out there that just don't like the idea of a dead cat, and they really want that true X configuration, or a wide X configuration, which is really common for freestyle, and they just maybe aren't comfortable with a dead cat. If it ends up doing something awesome, or if you guys end up interested in it, maybe there'd be a whole new official variation on this frame, or a whole new frame we could design. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, you won't have that to mount to. <laughs> this is melting my brain a little bit. I gotta like put the drone upside down. Yeah, oh yeah, look how much up tilt we can get. The last thing we need to do is flip the props and our drone is upside down and our model we are showing looks upside down. But we need Betaflight to think that it's actually right side up. So we just go to configuration, 180 degrees on roll for the board alignment. Save and reboot, let's try that. Okay, it's, it's weird, it looks backwards to me but this is actually correct. I think we might need to change the motor direction. I don't know, let's just take the props off. James, can you bring up a battery? We'll do motor reorder. This was motor one. This guy's over here. Is motor direction right? Okay, yeah, it's spinning the right way. So this goes here. Yeah. This goes here. Let's tighten up these props. It does look weird. James and Drew made this weird <laughs> upside down drone. I don't really understand why there's like, nothing to understand. It's just upside it's not, down. No, it's, we took the motors, we flipped them over, and now we're gonna see what happens. What are you expecting to be different about it, though? So the first thing I expect to happen is if you put it down like in the grass or something, it's just gonna, it's gonna <gasps> get caught up, and it's yeah. not even gonna take off. So you have to put it on oh, some what sort you... of platform. <laughs> wrong, wrong way, John. I thought that was right. Let's see. Oh, how do I, how do I even do this? Come on. Yeah, so immediately we're running into some issues. <laughs> just take off quick. My first thought is that you're just gonna destroy the props right away. Yeah. Every time you land, you're gonna have to change props. Sean, so. you've never landed the drone. <laughs> oh. yeah, I mean, he's, he's right. Any of you disarm Not on me. purpose, at least. <laughs> How often do you land? <laughs> on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> the pusher configuration has been used on uh, different drone platforms before. The Avada, in fact, is a pusher drone. So this means yeah. because it's pusher, it, it better. Yeah. If I mean, DJI, if DJI says it. it's better, 
Okay, you must yeah. be mobile. Let's listen to China. Yeah. What they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Going into this, I thought we're like we're gonna fly a drone. It's gonna be upside down. Oh my gosh! But like we're actually like testing pusher. Yeah. Okay. This is R and D. This is uh, this is what R and D looks like, people. Because I was it's gonna messy. put the battery on here. Yeah, you put like, the oh, battery there, and it just looks both. like it's flying upside down. <laughs> do you know why they do the pusher style on like the the little cinema quads, like the two point five inch? I, I think it's to help get the the props out of you. I think it pushes that the props down, like because then because think about the normal Cinewhoop style drone. You got these ducks pointing up, and when you make it pusher, the the rim of the duct goes way lower relative to the camera lens. I'm curious. I wonder if there might be a thrust advantage, right? Because you have to think if the arm is under the prop, you're blowing air onto the arm. But when you flip it like this, now the arm is blocking some of the air getting sucked into the prop disc. So. Is one better than the other? I, I don't know. I, I would think it would be pretty equal. Yeah. All right, like, let's fly this thing. Turtle mode Sean's always building the stuff for us, and then we get to fly his yeah. stuff. Let's so stick with Sean, tradition. I think we built this for you to fly. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. You should break it. You should just, just don't destroy break it. it. There's a leg right there. Fly responsibly. They're there's telling a, me not to break it. There's a leg right there. All right, all right. No! Oh! Ah! They're telling it. me not to break it. They're telling me not to break it. No, 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 no! <laughs> They're telling me not to break it. Oh, all right. Arm, hang on. Hey. Whoa! All right. What was that? I think that's just O3 air unit oh. weirdness. Oh, it just because it's yeah, like yeah. ultra wide. Yeah. Uh, it feels kind of normal. Let's see. Flip. It's underpowered. Is it just me or is, is it... that a four cell battery or a six cell? Oh, I'm used to six cell. This is a four cell. No, it should be six cell. Those are six cell motors. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's you don't have really underpowered. On. But yeah, you're running yeah. four out. Really yeah, bring it. Let's put a six cell battery on it. Three, two, one, armed. Here we go. Hey. Oh, that's okay. Now I'm used to the wide angle, so everything's good now. More power. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now we got real power. I'm curious how it handles prop wash. I have too many variables to consider because I haven't been flying with the O3 air unit much. It's very windy as well. Yeah, well, the O3 air unit has this ultra wide field of view when you're flying that's really wide whoa also do you see props in view right now while you're no flying? i nope. got zero props in no, view you see them. oh yeah I, just, I see them i see them they're just dark so they kind of blend when they slow down yeah i mean so in terms of the flight characteristics it, is it just seems like a quad normal kind of? to me yeah, yeah. Like, it seems normal i don't really see any feel or see any difference that i can think of okay let me try to hit some gates and see because when you're hitting obstacles Flying out in the open is not the same as actually going through gaps. Well, it feels normal. Everything feels totally normal. I don't feel out of place. Like, How about when you fly low? Oh, okay. yeah, that's actually true. Didn't flying think about low. That. Here we go. Let's see. So the only thing that I can see that immediately is a downfall to me is like, I love to skid. So oh. I don't think you're going to be able to skid with. You know, right, yeah. I mean, you could skid, but it's we could we could design something. <laughs> Prop nuts might get a little messed up. Motors yeah. might get killed, but if you don't care about your shaft on the motors, then exactly. I mean, I, I don't think that we're yeah. looking for like much like difference in how it flies. We're looking for the actual benefits of like what it's good with a pusher and freestyle. So props out of use. First thing we're seeing, that's good. Downfall could be, um, but it didn't get props out of you. I feel like I've got less prop in view though. Well. So here, I guess. But we, okay, we, the other thing is, is that we didn't completely put the motors on the bottom of a regularly designed quad. The arms are still pretty high because it's been flipped. If we had the arms at the very bottom, and then put the motors on the bottom, the motors would be sticking down a lot farther, and the props might be out of view at that point. So basically, you're saying if we built the drone up normal way, but just put yeah. the motors on the bottom. Oh yeah, I think so too. Because yeah. when we just flip the whole drone upside down, we're bringing the camera. Down. Would, I think it definitely that would still... change the center of gravity relative oh. to the to the prop line. So like this is really just a one to one pusher versus standard configuration. That's really all this test. I think there are more things, and I think like with the Avada drone like the camera is more on top of the pusher arm so you're getting that advantage and that's how it gets the the props out of you but so you just mentioned the prop line i didn't realize right, that's way in. lower so, right. so it's like yeah. it's not in the middle where it should be mm -hmm. i'm kind of actually disappointed that i didn't break your drone i'm nice to these guys i don't even break their stuff that's how it should be done right who's next how did you have this just like like that kind of pointed up like that arm it Huh. Huh. Okay. Um, it, it feels different. Like, it doesn't feel like my regular... 
Huh. Okay. If like I feel like it's pushing the quad it's up. It's almost as if the no, motor no, no. But, like, are but like I but it I feel it. I feel it like when I'm flying it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you said you didn't feel any difference. Like I, I can definitely feel a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like um, these sugar pills are really working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. I think, to, I think I it should feel a little it. different. Yeah, I don't I know how to should, describe it. Like it, it feels something. floatier. Okay. It did feel floatier, feels but I think floatier. that's because I'm not carrying a GoPro. You're also no, not carrying a GoPro. No, no, because it doesn't feel like it's. But like, so normally if I take a GoPro off on 6S, I have harder time managing the throttle. Like the. It doesn't bobble at all. Like you can just rest the throttle, and it doesn't want to like drop or like, you feel like, like it's it just more it's just locked in. Yeah, hmm. yeah. I feel more okay. stable. I mean, absolutely. I mean, like if this drone is tuned, I know you fly defaults. <laughs> I don't mean to. Like I just don't feel the like the quad pulling. It's only like pushing itself. Yeah. It's uh like a like, like a pusher, sure. like a pusher. <laughs> yeah. No. It, I, I want to fly it. I feel it. I feel it. This, I, don't I love your time for you to fly, buddy. It's okay. floaty. It's. Oh, well. <laughs> I just don't see the great thing about this this round. I'm not trying to push this on you. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to push this I'm on you. Yeah, I know. Just worth trying. It flips slowly. Is that just the rates? But yes. I fly defaults. It feels. That's why I said it's not default. That's slower than default. It looks funny in the air. It looks. It's falling upside down. Okay, so what when I it? slam on the throttle. Like normally it would it would kind of like jump up a little bit, huh? Like uh, it's got a, a like a slower punch to it. All right, we should do some tricks. What should we do? Do the. You want me to break it before you guys can try it? You need to start with a rubber cub, or, or just go straight for the trippy. <laughs> I love that in 2023, trippy spins are like the thing we start with. What do you Matty like flip? So it definitely flies different. It, uh, you feel the pushiness of it. In a and good way? The, or a, what I, is this pushiness? <laughs> I think it flies more stable. Like, I think if you were trying to get cinematic footage, it could offer some, like, benefits. Hmm. But I don't know if they're enough to... Like, when I'm flying flat, it feels great. Um, I mean, I guess maybe there could be something to, like, when the arm is under the prop, then the air coming out of it is gonna be dirty, and if the arm is above the prop, it might be a little bit more turbulent coming in, but it would come out Maybe more the, clean. That's, that's what I was it up or something. Yeah, like might be more clean coming out, even if it's okay, more dirty Okay, let's try to in. get some prop wash. Yeah, like really push for prop wash. Yeah, it like bobbled, but it didn't like, I don't know. So when we refer to prop wash, it's when you quickly turn the drone around and the drone goes into the turbulent air coming out of the props. It usually creates a disturbance and you'll see the drone maybe react with like a, like a shimmy. That's something you can test for in a tune or in the characters of a drone. How does it handle that kind of worst case prop wash scenario? It's, it's very difficult to have a drone handle prop wash well. So like how does this do? Like if you really just kind of like whip it and put it in that dirty air. Nope. Or right. into the uh, dirty uh, dirt. Uh, 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 thank you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I told you I was going to crash it. Nice. There's no landing here. <laughs> uh, I don't see any benefit for freestyle at all. Well, I think you need to try it. I'm going to try it. I think Bobby should try it first. He's so anxious to try You're this. Very, yeah. yeah, I'm so anxious. Which is why you should. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll fly it first. You're in your loose sticks. I love it. Gotta get the flow. Yep, yeah, feels like a normal quad. I honestly don't know if I would know the difference. Mm. If this was a blind test, I don't know if I would. I can definitely tell that the props are in a different position in the screen than where they'd normally be. Mm -hmm. um, are they lower or higher? They're lower. Yeah. They are lower, but they're still in view, so it wasn't low enough to get them out of view. Okay. But. Yeah, I gotta say, this just feels like a normal quad to me. Mm -hmm. I hate zooming. Shredding. It does shred, though. CEO of Flow out here shredding. You could actually cut the grass if you like. Cover it really well. <laughs> Doing the flow thing.
I feel like it's really on point. I don't know. I'm just really feeling this right now, but I just feel like I, I, I don't know if I would know there's a difference. Try to do like a, a juicy flick. Little whoop! Oh God, no! Your arm switch. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you hit it when you I hit the arm switch. <laughs> when you flipped up. Oh, I did. This is You're a good turtle right test. Now. Okay, so I'm back up right. Can I try now? But now your props are right in the grass. Nope. I got oh, it. Oh, no problem. Go. No problem. Oh, that's okay. that's actually really surprising. Man, I just whoop out right into the the disarm zone. <laughs> okay. You whoop out the disarm. Let me try this again. I know. So I was like, what just happened? So when you when you whoop out. When you said you felt really locked in, I kind of felt like that too. Like I was really in the zone when I was flying it. I yeah, I'm like, I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Bro, we'll pod the arm switch. You want to see something? We're going to do a little whoop -a, whoop -a, whoop -a. Uh, These are slow rates. Is this stock? I don't know. It's supposed it's to be stock. There's no way. It's supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe it is slower. We just got to do a little... Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Yeah, you whoop out a lot. Oh! oh no. I saved it. Oh! No, I saved it. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> you took a whole branch you out. You full throttled into the ground. <laughs> no, I was I was throttling up. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> that was down. No, upside down is it's an upside down drone. I saved it. I was expecting a bigger difference. It's fine. Like I was expecting to feel a push. You don't feel it at all. So Sean didn't. Yet. You didn't feel a difference. Yeah. You did feel a difference. I didn't feel a difference. So that means I have to feel a difference. Real windy now. Do you feel the push? Do you feel the push or do, do, what, what do you feel? It's a mental thing, like, I mean, it's definitely a quad. Does it fly? It just flies bad. <laughs> what? I thought it was ripping. I was shredding with it's, that thing. I don't it's think so it shaky. Well, well, the wind picked up by like oh, yeah, the wind 10 miles per hour. Yeah. 15 miles. We got a hurricane now. <laughs> I mean, so like when you throttle up over the top of the tree, do you feel it? Does it feel any different? Like, is it? It's, I mean, so, it just, I don't even know. This doesn't feel, this doesn't, this doesn't fly very good. Use your words, Bubby. It doesn't fly very good. So you think it flies badly? I think this is a, like, I don't know why, maybe when you crashed it, something got messed. Oh! Wait, one second, let me check something. What's wrong, buddy? I thought one of the drones didn't have stack screws. This is the least reactive I've been to a drone in a while. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe you just hate that you can feel a big difference. It just, it feels underpowered for what it is. Right? Yeah, that's what it, you feel that too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you go to roll, it feels like it's like, kind of like, oh, I guess yeah. we'll do it. I guess yeah, we'll roll. Awesome. Like, Maybe I'm more used to it because I'm usually fly 4S. I think so, so. I mean, I, I mean, I, well, here's to you. I fly a heavier setup. Than, my setup is more underpowered than yours, and my setup still feels more responsive, more powerful than this can even think of feeling. So, like, it doesn't feel like it's missing a GoPro. Yeah. Like, right? Like, it should feel amazing because yeah. it's 6S, no GoPro, super lightweight. Like, so I wonder if the arm, I wonder if the arm blocking the airflow into the prop disc is cutting your power. Seems like it might be, but maybe the trade off is it's a little bit smoother because I felt like it was really smooth and groovy, baby. I don't it did know. feel smooth to me. It did feel smooth, but I thought it might, and maybe it's just because of the rates. So I don't know. Like, do you feel like it's still smooth, Bubby, or? It just flies so bad, I can't even say it feels smooth. Like, it's just shaking and vibrating so Maybe much. Maybe the prop lines not help mm, It's so windy right now, it does not help at all. Yeah, the wind really picked up for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know anything about like weightlifting, but is it like harder to lift weights up than to pull them up? Or is it the same effort, right? Like, I don't know. You ask Do we look like we weight sports? work out? That's why I was asking you guys, look at those guns. I almost just wonder if it's just like this battery just sucks. I had a good battery. The batteries. Oh Let's yeah. Let's get you a good battery. Yeah. What is the voltage at? 21. I'll end. Here, try one of these. Uh, try a good pack. Try one of these GNB HV 1300 Ma 6S packs. Uh, it's booting up. <laughs> oh, this is 
Okay, I'm, it's actually not much better. <laughs> it felt like it did because it sounded like it. It flies the exact same as it did. Just I can just tell it's a newer battery. Right, so when you just like pop over the tree, like you can feel that it's like a little bit, like it's working for it a little bit, right? Yeah. I, I, I think I, I don't know if we're feeling the same thing, but I, I kind of see what you mean when you're, when you just say pushy, if that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it's lifting you from the bottom instead of from pulling you from the top. Yeah, pushy. I mean, I think for me it's just a mental thing because you've been saying it. Like it didn't have the snap I was expecting. Like when you do like a juicy flick mm -hmm. and you get like that, that huck and that like that quick. That might have just been a rage problem though? I don't know. Like that thing should just like go immediately. I feel bad. I feel bad, Bubby. I feel bad that I Why? I don't, that well, I'm not, that I don't, that, we are I, not that I don't. Attached. This then, is not yeah. something I'm like psyched about that I want to succeed. You don't have to like it. We're just out of video ideas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Woo! Missed turtle load. Yeah, no, punch it. I can't. Punch it. Arm it and punch I, it. I just did. Arm it and punch it. Okay, don't burn the ASC. Come on now. This freaking guy. Yeah, no, I don't know what I think about it. It's a. Uh, I see what you mean, though. Like so you the, guys can both feel a distinct difference. It's different, but I don't know if, I can't really, just feel slow. That's the CL2 that you flew last time with the O3R unit. It's the same drone. It's so different. I it's don't know the, what it's, happened. It's literally the same drone. Yeah, okay. All we did was put the normal arms back on and yeah. flip it upside down. Because that drone flew really good. Yeah, so it's you, it's you flew this exact drone just a few weeks ago in its normal upright configuration. So yeah. we just flipped it over to make it a pusher. I don't know what's wrong with me that I just couldn't feel anything. So now that we're comparing it to that, the old, other one just felt peppier. Yeah, like, I think like it's when the I was 6S that you were talking about. Like, you run 4S normally, and so <laughs> a 6S that doesn't fly well yeah. probably there feels like 6S. So, I mean, I, I guess I couldn't really say what the science is behind it, but it just seems from experience that something about blocking the air going into the props really reduces its responsiveness versus blocking the air coming out of the props. For you, at least. I don't care. I'll, I'll rip anything. I, I don't so, is it a rip it? Okay, so let's get this. Drew, what do you think? I think it's a. Uh, I, I mean, I, I had a great time, Bubby, so I think it's a rip it. <laughs> I think it's a skip it. The, I don't think the benefits outweigh the negatives at this point. Yes. You know? I think a dead cat would fly way better. Yeah. Does, yeah. Yeah. So. And I've got my frame coming out soon with Dead Cat as well. So. so this is probably not the way to go. Yeah. I mean, it was really fun to try. Over the years, what we do with FPV drones has gotten like really refined and we've kind of boiled things down to like a pretty standard recipe. But it's fun to kind of go back to how it was in the, in the old days, yeah. 2014, 2016, when we were just throwing stuff at a wall and be like, is this yeah, work, I mean, does all that of work, it, you know? All of it got great because of all the experimentation that we did yeah. in the beginning. And we're not saying that this hasn't been tried before. Mm -hmm. I just think it's been a long time since it's been visited on modern electronics with modern mm -hmm. you know, flight controllers and, and uh, FPV systems. So it was really interesting to revisit it. And I think we're done with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do not recommend it at all. I was all. happy to be part of the experiment, but okay, moving on. We were split on this. I, you and I felt it. You and Drew did not feel it. So I'm really interested. It's a simple thing to flip the motors over, flip the whole frame over, and then just flip the cam. You yeah, know? let so us know in the comments if you think this is the way to go for the future of FPV freestyle. Tell us or if you if can even tell a difference. Tell yeah. us if we're lying, if they're lying. Half of us are liars, and yeah, we, we need to we know who it is. Tell the truth. If you're bored one day, looking to spice up your drone life, I guess you could try, <laughs> you know, flipping things around and, and see if you like it. But, you know, flip it and rip it. Flip it and rip it. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Rotor Riot. Look at